here at the Independent Spirit Awards. This is the award show that celebrates independent films. You always learn to listen to yourself. And I just always love to entertain. There's nothing stopping you now. Hi, Anne. Hi, Anne's right. Hey, welcome to a special show. We're here at a Dishwalla concert in San Pedro at the Sacred Grounds Coffee House. The members of Dishwalla are JR, Scott, Rodney, Jim, and Pete. The band's loyal fans came from all over to catch this local performance. This fan flew out from Virginia just for tonight. Hi, we're here at the ninth annual SAG nominations. There's been some great nominations for some very deserving actors. What makes the SAG Awards so special for an actor to receive is the nominations and winners are selected by their peers. I get to kick the hell out of Ben Affleck's behind. Mitzi Gaynor, John Kerr, Betty Garrett, and Tippi Hedren. The healing arts is something that fascinates me, certainly. Um, and particularly uh, this connection between the arts and healing. As an actor, that seems to be the best way, but also, you know, just as, as I've grown, I've also been, become more and more interested in working on the other side of the camera. I just so happen to have a connection with Tobin Men because of my brother, you know. Hello and welcome to KCOX 12 News. I'm Ann Hulagard. Thanks for joining us. Well, members of the police and fire department came out to honor their own at the 29th annual Medal of Valor luncheon. Well, next in our self-improvement segment with Judith Simon Prager, we'll learn some simple ways that we can adjust our attitudes. Well, we continue with the fourth part in a five-part series about a group of San Pedro High School students who are making a difference preventing violence. They are natural leaders. Well, we have an exclusive interview with one of America's favorite couples. An important series on quality child care. Now let's go to California's new First Lady, Maria Shriver, with more. Well, we have a sweet doggie looking for a new home. Her name is Sandy, and she is so good and quiet and housebroken and comes with all her doggy supplies. Well, recent studies show that at least one in five girls and one in ten boys will be sexually abused by the time they're 18. One way to lower those devastating statistics is to get informed. Well, here's a story that proves heroes come in all shapes and sizes and ages. Joe McDonald has a story about one 14-year-old local hero. Joe. After Trump's purchase of the Ocean Trails golf course for $27 million has been finalized. Thanks so much for joining us. Have a great day. The Lords of Flatbush, which is really sure. a classic now, 70s film, launched a lot of careers. Who are some of the people that were in that movie? Well, Sylvester Stallone, mm -hmm. Henry Winkler. Mm -hmm. you no, know, I realized you had to almost make a decision, you know, between those careers. Now, luckily, there's now everybody people. sings. An extraordinary performer. And, and what I found out <laughs> earlier is you're, you also are wonderful at doing hair because he did my hair. Well, you know, before she had the, some stray hairs going. I through. had hairs all over, <laughs> so welcome. Thank you. Anytime. Call me anytime. I will. Like, you know, hey, if a banker's calling me up saying we want you to pay off this $500 million loan rather than take his call, I'll plug up. You had said earlier that you're going to be playing with uh, Tiger Woods in a yes. couple weeks, Golf. The author of this new book, In the Absence of Sun, which everyone's very excited about, you just were on the Oprah show this week. Oh, yes. yes that I want to hear about that. I think it's great how you're moving up CNN, Oprah, and now KCOX News. And I, hi, welcome to Up Close. I'm Ann Hulagard. We are so lucky today to have Dr. Murad on the show. And it's really a pleasure to be with you, Ann. Tell me a little bit about your book, The Right Words at the Right Time. Everybody really uh, experiences life in a different way. The Governor's Award from the Television Academy and a star on the Walk of Fame. It's a real pleasure to be here with you today. I recently visited the First Lady of California, Sharon Davis. Sharon shares about when we were flight attendants together. I tell people it was perfect job training to be the wife of a politician because no matter how much your feet hurt, you could smile. When I was in high school, I had to make a decision of whether to turn down a scholarship to the music school or pay to go to cooking school. Rockford Files, 21 Jump Street, The A-Team, Silk Stockings, The Commission, the list goes on and on. Hi, sure. how you doing? Um, first, I'd love to talk about your, your new book. Hi, it's Ann Hooligar. We're here at the Staples Center. We're here for the L.A. Laker game versus Utah Jazz. First time, mailman Carl Malone is playing his old team since he was traded last year. And I got a lot of fans over there in that locker room. So it's kind of tough, but it's just one of those things. A lot of fans here supporting Kobe Bryant. There's so many kids out there with number eight in their bag. How does that make you feel, having all that support and love? Oh, it makes me feel great. It makes me feel great that they enjoy what I do. And, 
you know, they see me out there working hard. Hopefully, they'll do the same. You have the most fascinating story that your brothers. How did you? Were you both as little children? Did you know right away that you wanted to do this? That you wanted to fight? What did your mother say? Stop fighting, you two. She said, "But if you guys gonna box, you will not." Fight each other, never. and we promise her never do it. So, uh, so many fans out there. One gal, 7 a.m. You know, waiting for you. Tell me about how that feels, and and uh, what your fans mean to you. Oh, I mean, it's awesome to to come to an event like this, and to have you know to think that people would wait. Everybody, all these fans. <laughs> We're here with Pete Carroll, the man behind the USC Trojan football team. Hi, Pete. For anybody who's been living under a rock for 27 years, um, and maybe uh, they don't know you or, or your career, can you tell us a little bit about your background, how you started? Well, I, you know, after graduating from the University of the Pacific, uh we are in beautiful, sunny California. I think there's a lot of Green Bay Packer fans glad to be out of the snow and here at this game. Can I do some uh, some movies or some endorsements and like Brett does? <laughs> um, if the opportunity shows itself, yeah. I'm a movie guy anyway. I'm a we don't have superstars in this team. We don't have guys who want to be. We have guys who want to not only practice hard, but, but give you their best in game. This is more than $100,000 for children's hospitals in Orange County. So hopefully I've touched more than one person or one kid's life. Sets a champion apart. And what is it? Is it a work ethic? What do you think it is? If you had to... So much of it's mental. mental. Type cast is this leading man sex symbol? Yeah, it's really funny. I think, I think it's fun. My wife and I laugh about it. No, the race is in my blood. I'm being a Firestone. So um, I hope I'm not going to taint the name. I'm going to go out there and represent the family well.